Well, tonight we investigate. PG&E is flush with $600 million in profits, and the CEO is talking about restoring dividends to investors. But NBC Bay Area investigative reporter Jackson Vanderbecken has learned that the rosy financial picture comes as PG&E is facing a huge backlog of repairs in high-risk fire areas. I've seen the grass at this time of year twice high and brush and so forth has just exploded. That means a very concerning in a fire fire year. Butte County uh, District Attorney did. Mike Ramsey prosecuted PG&E for manslaughter in the devastating campfire in 2018. The fire blamed on PG&E's aging equipment left 85 people dead. Five years later, Ramsey still wonders if PG&E has done enough on its aging system to avoid a disastrous fire with all the explosive fuel generated by the wet winter. But PG&E's CEO is optimistic. It gives me a lot of confidence heading into wildfire season that we are prepared. PG&E's Patty Poppy told investors on a recent update that fire mitigation efforts have cut its risk by more than 90%. Restoring modest dividends, she said, will help obtain low-cost financing to build on the progress. But Ramsey points to the findings of the latest report by the Independent Safety Monitor that highlights a current backlog of 170,000 outstanding maintenance tags in high fire threat areas. A maintenance tag is an identification that something out of normal has been found. Dan Mulkey is a retired senior consulting electrical engineer at PG&E. He says assessing power pole hazards involves making a critical judgment call. How dangerous is it? Depends on the weather and you know, mostly on the weather and how old it is. Aging power poles account for half the backlog, the monitor says. But the company is only replacing half of its goal of poles each year and only about 40 miles of power lines. The monitor says PG&E's annual target is 800 miles. The monitor also says PG&E lacks age data on more than half of its lines. Doing all the replacements, unnamed PG&E managers told the monitor, will far exceed the amount of capital believed to be available. In a statement, PG&E says it continues to aggressively work to reduce the backlog while continually removing more ignition risk from the highest wildfire risk areas in our system. Reducing the backlog will help make more progress, it says. PG needs, needs to step up their game. District Attorney Ramsey says he regularly talks with PG officials about the progress they have made and the challenges they face. Right now, he says, they have not done enough to justify paying dividends. We've warned them. They've got the warning and they need to approach it like the hair is on fire. Jackson Vanderbecken, NBC. Bay Area News. If you have a story for anyone in our investigative unit, including Jackson, give us a call. You see the number on our screen there, 888-996-TIPS, or you can simply visit our website, nbcbayarea.com slash investigation.